Hello guys, welcome to another video. As you can see here, I have another mechanical pencil for you guys, so I'm going to continue my mechanical pencil series. So I was at my local mall and I walked into a um, um, dollar store, it wasn't really a dollar store, it was actually a dollar rama I believe. And I was looking through their uh, through their um, stationery section, and I actually saw this mechanical pencil, and uh, looked at it and go, oh, interesting! They actually got mechanical pencils here too. So I actually paid a dollar fifty for it. And what really caught my eye on this one here is it says automatic. So to my understanding is it actually it actually draws the lead forward as you write with it I think right it's just like uh, like this one here this uh, Uniball Uniga Kuru Kortorga this in here also as you um, as you write with it this one here doesn't doesn't self feed itself but this one here actually rotates the lead as you're writing with this, so you don't create a flat spot on this one here in particular. So, I guess in an instance, this is almost like that, but instead of rotating the lid, it actually feeds it forward, I guess. But let's find out if it's true or not, right? That's the whole idea of this whole process. So, anyway, this is a studio brand. So, of course, it's uh, a Dollarama. A brand name I guess you'd call it automatic mechanical pencil of course you get the pencil here itself and then the pencil lead comes out automatically so okay so I guess as you write with it the, the lead actually advances forward as you write with it so it comes with a pack of 12 leads and uh, this mechanical pencil is actually a 0.5 so it's a 0.5 millimeter millimeter um, pencil don't click it says here don't click just just right so on the bottom here it just says don't click just right and of course you've got the little window here it kind of shows the shows the uh, the rubber the rubber grip. And then uh, it says on the side here, fully automatic pencil. On the back here, of course, you got the studio, you got the automatic mechanical pencil. Instructions: one, to load, remove eraser cap and eraser. Insert leads. Replace replace the eraser and cap. Press cap until tip of lead appears. When lead becomes loose, press cap until the remainder of the loose lead comes out and another lead replaces it. So, to me, this tells me that you don't just click to advance the lead. It's probably like, um, I actually, I believe I have one here that I still have to do an unboxing for and it's just got claws in it when you press on the top it just opens the claw and the lead just comes out maybe that's what this is it's not like mechanical like this in here when you click on the top it actually advances the lead forward but uh, let's find out let's open this guy up and um, take a look let's see here some of these packages can be a pain in you know what open up so easy okay uh, got the C 
See, I'm curious if these lids are, are the same quality as the more expensive ones or not. Okay, so this is a red color. It's actually pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, you can kind of see that. Yeah, you can kind of see the red. So, okay, one thing that I noticed right away handling this uh, this mechanical pencil here, it's um, quite thick, but also it's not rounded. It's almost like rectangular. Um, I don't know if I can, show, if you guys can kind of, you can kind of see it a little bit here. So it kind of, so basically, you can only hold it in, in three positions. You can't really like rotate it as you write with it if you need to. Right, like uh, this one here. This one here also has the, um, the rectangular shape on the actual grip here itself. Right, this is a, uh, Eco Friends, I'll be doing a review on this one here. This is a point, point 0.2 millimeter uh, mechanical pencil down the road. One, uh, one of these days, like this one here is completely round, so you can actually, <coughs> excuse me, you can actually rotate it as you're using it and, it and it feels fine on the hand. But this one here, it's actually got this uh, rectangular shape to it. I mean, it doesn't feel bad in the hands at all. Um, it feels pretty comfortable. To me, it feels like the thickness is kind of just right. I can uh, I can probably uh, go along a long session with uh, with writing with this. So it's got a pretty pretty strong uh, clip, but it is made out of plastic, so you got to watch with that so you don't break it. Um, okay, let's see here. Okay, so this one here, you do click, you do click to advance the lead. So when you click, you can see the lead advancing. One thing that I notice is uh, that this lead is really weak. I don't know if I can be able to show this on camera or not. Let's see here. You can kind of you can kind of see it kind of moving around. Yeah, you can kind of see that. So you really gotta be careful with this one here. So this must be pretty low quality uh, lead. Oh I see, okay. I think that's how you actually advance the uh, the lead. So you actually gotta you actually have to click. You need to um, push down on the tip. To show you guys this or not, this is probably gonna be very difficult to, uh, to kind of kind of see. So I basically pushed the lid all the way in and I'm still able to write with it. So this black, this black section here must have something to do with it because it, it does, it does move up. Yeah, okay, I see. Alright, so. This tip right here is what's. This is the mechanism that, that brings the uh, the lead forward. So if I can see if I can try to demonstrate this. 
Yeah, so you can see how I'm pushing. See how that's advancing the lead? So basically, you can just put one click where you can just kind of just show it a little bit. You can actually sit here and write with it. And uh, the lead will just keep coming out. Interesting idea. It works, that's for sure. Yeah, it works really well actually. I'm pretty amazed. Okay, so let's um take a look at this eraser and see how well this erases. Actually, it erases really well, and the eraser doesn't get dirty at all. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, that's actually pretty impressive. And of course, this comes also. This just uses a standard square eye eraser. I bet you if I uh, um, just bear with me for a second here. Well, let's see here. Well, so this is slightly thicker. This one here is too small. You know, it's nice, it's nice that these guys include these erasers with these pencils, but you know, it would be nice where you're able to, you know, order these by number. I'm probably, probably they're able, you're probably able to buy them. I just don't know where, where to buy them. Um, I'll ask you guys if, uh, you know, if you're watching this particular video, you're into mechanical pencils. You know, you can, you know, direct me to the right direction and where where we can get replacement erasers like this. I don't know if it's by size or, or what, if how you'd order them, I'm not sure. So, let's see if this has any ink inside. Any ink. I apologize. Lead. So, there's got one inside here, and of course you got the pack that uh, that it came with. And there we go. All right, so this is pretty much the unboxing for the Studio Automatic Mechanical Pencil. Uh. Yeah, so there we go, the unboxing and my first um, impressions of uh, this mechanical pencil. So I guess that's pretty much it I have to say. So yeah, enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up, if you want to see more of my content please subscribe. And, um, you know, I'm wondering, would you guys be interested if I, uh, if I give something like this away as a giveaway? I want to do some giveaways here. Um, I'm halfway through, through a thousand subscribers right at the moment. I would like to, you know, once monetization kicks in, I would like to give back to you guys. You know, so let me know in the comments if that's something that you guys would be interested in, in, uh, you know, getting like mechanical pencils, 
you know, I might be able to do maybe a couple of mechanical pencils right now or even disposable one like this uh, yeah so if you guys are interested in something like that you know just please uh, please uh, leave comments down below and uh, I would like to know what you guys you know what you guys would like to what you what you guys would like to you know to see so yeah so that's pretty much it for for this video here and um, until the next video goodbye